everybody. I am just connecting to Facebook right now. And again, I don't know what the time frame is on this. <laughs> so, so, hey there, everybody. Um, when I turned 40, I kept searching for over 40 women, like for fitness inspiration, right? And I couldn't find any that were like normal, normal. <laughs> They were either freakish, freakishly shredded or actually what I found most common were males over 40 that were looking to get fit. And I was like, where are all the ladies at, right? This is my thought. So if you don't know, my name is Nicole Simonin. Welcome. I'm coming in from Shape It Up. And if you're watching this live, then you know I'm popping in on um, Facebook. And if you're listening to this on my podcast, Shape It Up Over 40, I want you to know I'm doing a live version of this. Uh, I did the past couple um, live. So if you kind of heard me talking about Facebook and were like very confused, that's what's going on here. I am recording this live on Facebook. Um, but if you want to watch, you can jump on Facebook and watch the replay or you can go to YouTube and check out my YouTube channel because it will be there as well. So. I hear my dog running in. <laughs> so when I hit my 40s, which is going to be almost eight years, my birthday's coming up, um, I noticed things were really different, not just physically, but mentally. And I didn't want to create my vision off of a 20 year old girl body, you know, because that's what I was getting and seeing when I was searching for over 40 fitness that or a man and I don't want to look like a man either <laughs> so I wanted to see what quote unquote real women in their 40s look like and what they thought what they wanted but I realized that I was doing it all backwards I was looking to see what everyone else was doing looking for motivation outside of me and I do think there is a time that you look outside of yourself to see what you do or do not want but looking at what you want is the first step, right? You have to know what you want. And I want to ask you, what do you want as a 40 year old woman? Could be 50, who knows how old you are. But imp more importantly, how do you want to feel in your body? Take a second, close your eyes. If you're listening to this and driving, do not close your eyes. But if take a second, just close your eyes and think like literally right now, how are you feeling in your body right now? Like, are you happy? Are you content? Are you miserable? Disgusted? How do you feel sitting in your body right now? And once you grab a hold of that emotion, what kind of things are popping up in your head? Maybe the thought is I am happy, but I still don't like my stomach dripping over my shorts. I like my body except for my thighs. If I could just fit comfortably in my jeans, life would be great. How about I hate my body? It has turned on me. Another thought could be I cannot stand looking at myself in a mirror or in pictures. I always stand behind someone. So, sorry, this is the beauty of live. Someone walked out of the door, so my dog is going to bark. <laughs> Maybe the thought is, I can't stand looking at myself in a mirror or in pictures, and I always stand behind someone so no one can see how big I actually am. If you've ever met my dog, she's tiny. She sounds like, to me, she sounds like a very big dog. She's like, you know, big dog here in the door. <laughs> so I apologize that, for that. So. If any of those thoughts that I presented, if you feel like you kind of want to cry or you're really triggered by what I just said, or maybe a different thought came up for you, um, you have hit the spot where you want to be, at least temporarily. This super uncomfortable spot is where your growth is. So if you could choose any emotion about your body, what would it be? Would it maybe be proud, delighted, confident, compassionate? How about fascinated? So when you think of those emotions, what kind of things come up in your head? 
maybe it's, wow, I can't believe that my 40 plus year old body just did that. Or I am delighted my body can climb these steps. I feel like a rock star when I put on my favorite pair of jeans. I love my body and all it does for me. How about I am fascinated by my body and how it does all this stuff without me being aware of it, like breathing, pumping my heart, digesting my food. So since when did getting to 40 year old time frame automatically assume that it was all downhill from here? I want to know who put that in place. <laughs> Maybe it was because back in the day, people were not living that long. But in today's day and age, I mean, my grandma, she's going to be 100 in December. My grandfather passed away, I believe, just short of his 103rd birthday. We are living much longer. So in my quest to find inspirational 40-year-old females, I discovered myself, what I wanted, and how I wanted to live my life in this body that I have. And part of what the work we do in Master Your Mind to Change Your Body, my new small group program, is to find out what you want. What do you want your body to look and feel like? The lifestyle that you want to live, what is that? So if your current lifestyle is being on a very restrictive diet or some sort of shake slash meal plan and you absolutely hate it, ask yourself, do you want to do that for the rest of your life? And if you say yes, then you can stop listening right here. Go do something else. If you say no, and the answer is a solid no, there is a much easier way to lose weight, to eat the foods that you love, to move your body the way you want to. And you can find out all this inside the Master Your Mind to Change Your Body small group program. The investment to join is $2,500. And in the six months that we work together, you will learn all the skills and have all the tools you will need, not just to lose the weight, but to keep it off. That 2,500 investment is setting you up for the rest of your life. This is not some six month program where you lose the weight and then you gain it back. You will learn how to lose weight easily you do not need to block off hours and hours to do this. You will understand why your body does what it does and how to work with your body instead of against it. You will learn how to manage your weight at any point in your life, not with restriction, not with deprivation, but in a really relaxed and freeing way. I know for a lot of you, that's hard for your brain to wrap around like diet should be hard. Losing weight should be hard. I'm telling you, it does not have to be hard. So do you want to see how incredible you can feel in your 40 and over body? Do you want to feel confident and free in the way you eat? Do you want to stop stressing over this extra weight and start feeling relief? knowing you will know exactly how to control your weight. This is available to you. Yes, you who are watching, you who are listening. Sign up for your spot in Master Your Mind to Change Your Body small group program, and I will be happy to teach you how to do all this and so much more. You can go to shapeitupfitness.com slash small group and sign up today. I will see you on the inside and I will also leave links in the comments and in the post. And if you're listening to this on the podcast, it will also be in the show notes. All right. We start next week, next week. So make sure you get your spot saved. Again, the website link is shapeitupfitness.com slash small group. I will see you next week. Take care.